Explain why we're doing all the spidery based uh, stories. Essentially, what's happening is that they are reissuing um, all the Spider Man movies before we were talking about the Sam Raimi movies. Now we're on to the second uh, series, which is uh, Amazing Spider Man and Amazing Spider Man 2. So it's basically all the Spider Man movies are back in cinemas. That's how it's working out. So Amazing Spider-Man 2 is this week, which was originally, I didn't know this at the time, the working title of Amazing Spider-Man 2 was Amazing Spider-Man Rise of Electro, which, considering... Really? Yeah, exactly. And if you remember, Jamie Foxx as Electro was basically the sort of the least, you know, one <laughs> one, of, one of those characters that didn't really land anyway. Um we first reviewed this in 2014 when it came out. It ended up grossing over 700 million wor- wor- worldwide. It was the ninth highest grossing film of 2014. Okay. Directed by Mark Webb, who made 500 Days of Summer before doing the two Amazing Spider Man 2 uh, movies. So, Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst in the first series. Now, uh, Andrew Garfield, who won a, uh, a Kermode Award for uh, Social Network, and Emma Stone before Emma Stone became the biggest star in the world. Here they are together in action. What about you? Why are you here? Harry. Husband? He's dying. What do you mean? He's dying. And he thinks the only thing that's going to save his life is my blood, is Spider-Man's blood. And as far as I know, if I give it to him, it could kill him. Or something worse. This is the maintenance closet. Gwen? This is the most cliched hiding place you could have chosen. This oh, is I'm this sorry. is the stupidest hiding didn't place. Take us to the Bahamas of listen, hiding places. Listen. That's the quietest, quietest <laughs> clip. Well, they're they're hiding. They're in had a... to stop and go. <laughs> hang on, put their shopping down. Turn it up. What is what is? The, oh, it's that. They're in a, they're in a closet. That's the thing. That's the way it's working. So anyway. Um, Jamie Foxx as Electro, as I said, uh, Dana Hahn as uh, Green Goblin again. Also, uh, Paul Giamatti, Felicity Jones. So, look, on the downside, um, two hours, 22 minutes long, or whatever, is, is, is way too long. There are, there are way too many pot strands, and this is kind of this is the, the standard Spider-Man movies issue, isn't it, that there's always too much going on. And one of the problems is that Spider-Man can essentially fly – at this point so he's sort of he's sort of superman and i always had this thing that the thing that makes spider-man interesting is his vulnerabilities and the thing that makes superman uninteresting is his invulnerability but when you've got to the point that spider-man is basically superman it's much less interesting than it you know than it was when he was kind of awkward spider-man on the plus side i did like andrew garfield in this role and i think the stuff between him and emma stone is really well done and kind of plays out properly. And I, I went back to my original review of it, and I had taken Child Two, Child Two, who left the T two um, jacket in the car in Manchester. Yeah. Thanks for that. And then lost it forever. And then lost it, unless the police found it. No, they didn't. Oh no, they okay. found the car, but they didn't. They found the car, but they didn't find the jacket. Wow, that tells you everything you need to know about the quality of the car <laughs> exactly, and the exactly. quality of the jacket. That's why I'll keep the jacket, but lose the car and. Um, and at the time, and bear in mind this was 10 years ago, Child 2 loved it on the basis that it was really sort of, it was really emotional and it had a proper emotional core to it. And I I do remember that that being the case at the time was, okay, the film has a proper emotional heart and the relationship between the two central characters is well done. The problem is that there's so much else going on that you kind of lose that. And this this is the typical sort of, this is almost, I think, the, the one of the sort of classic cases of the thing that goes wrong with franchise movies is that you've got the thing that you really like and that you're really interested in, which is usually kind of sort of fairly fairly small small scale. But the problem is that when you've got all these other things going on, all these other plot lines, all these other villains and set pieces and that – then you've got at the center of it a relationship you care about, but you kind of don't care about the other stuff. And I think that's the problem with Amazing Spider-Man 2. If it had been, if it had been a sort of a more compact movie with less of that other stuff in it, I think it would have been a better film. But it, it's still, you know, it's still fine. It's still fun. It's still 142 minutes long, which it doesn't need to be. And uh, and I do think 
I do think the Jamie Foxx electro stuff was was is like I'd yeah. forgotten that I'd forgotten that character was even yeah. Even well, there. doesn't that tell you everything you need to know? The character who was originally the subtitle of the movie, Rise of Electro, you'd even forgotten was in the movie. Why? Because no one cares. Yes. So he didn't rise very far, <laughs> did he, really, as far as the rest of us are concerned? Well, Jamie Foxx had a career that went on to rise, you know, very much, but just not in this particular role. As did Andrew Garfield. As did Andrew Garfield, as, of course, did Emma Stone. She's, I think, at the moment, she's, she, of the three, she's the biggest star. I think Emma Stone is, is probably the biggest actress of her time at the moment, yeah. I think, she's, I think she is the, the Meryl Streep du jour. <laughs> 